Toy Soldiers Cold War has arrived, signaling the end of Xbox's Summer of Arcade. Featuring similar gameplay to 2010's Toy Soldiers, the sequel takes the fight to a new era full of better technology, bigger weapons, and better design. While Cold War touches on more nostalgia-heavy toys from the 80s, known to anyone growing up in the era, it's simply a better game with more options, and a great way to send out the summer promotion with a bang. Toy Soldiers Cold War brings a 1980s bedroom to life. From action figures popping out of their packaging to flamethrowing cans of spray oil, Cold War captures a familiar childhood. The artistic wrappings feel ripped from the propaganda of anti-communism and the backs of toy packaging. The level design is more detailed than in its predecessor, featuring well-known locations like Egypt, Paris, and Mount Rushmore. Your bullets will fire over cassette tapes, old computers, VHS tapes, Rubik's Cubes, and more. The colorful and memorable offerings are great, not to mention the fact that everything can be leveled by gunfire. There's no need for Gorbachev to tear down the wall. Cold War controls a lot like the original Toy Soldiers. You place fortifications on open platforms, take control of them at any time, and fight wave after wave of bad guys. But the controls feel better this time because the technology of warfare improved since Toy Soldiers World War I. Helicopters tear through the sky, picking up batteries to stay afloat, tanks rumble over the playfield, and you can barrel roll with heat-seeking missiles while in a model jet. A new barrage meter rewards you for long kill streaks, and its powerful rewards can turn the tides of battle. But if those don't work, you can now rewind waves to try again rather than start from scratch. It hits a few stumbles in camera angles, much like its predecessor. It's hard to land your battery-operated vehicles back on their charging pads, and some viewpoints are obscured by nearby buildings. But overall, it's a fun experience with its minor flaws being easily forgivable. On normal difficulty, it's easier than the original Toy Soldiers, but you'll soon unlock general and elite difficulties for a greater challenge. Cold War brings back two-player local and online competitive play but it also offers a cooperative play in both the campaign and survival modes. It's fun to play with a friend and ought to keep the game interesting beyond the main campaign. Jets, helicopters, and action figures. Toy Soldiers Cold War is your childhood come to life. Flying an F-16 off an aircraft carrier to sink an enormous Russian sub all taking place on a diorama-sized background is awesome. And as your commando action figure mows through a battalion of 50 troops with a machine gun and bazooka at the same time, you'll be hard-pressed to wipe the smile off your face. Toy Soldiers Cold War is a whole lot of fun. For more on Toy Soldiers Cold War, check out IGN.com.